Okay, I'm just going to show you how to set up BiPAP. Um, just uh, for the purpose of this education, it is a Nippy 3 Plus uh, machine that we're using for the setup of, of BiPAP. I'm just going to show you firstly the equipment that, we'll, uh, that we need in order to have appropriate setup. We're going to have a filter, tubing, and this will be clear in colour. We have an oxygen connection, and we will also have a vented grey strapped mask. So this is a vented grey strapped mask and it will come in small, medium and large, which you will see here on the pack. And on the mask, you're going to see it just at the bottom of the mask with what the size is. So this is the equipment that we'll need to uh, safely set up our BiPAP. And now I'm going to show you how it all goes together. So the first thing that will go on the machine is our filter. And just so you know, this can't go on the wrong way. There is uh, one way that this will sit on. Equally, our tubing, which again is clear. Let me just discard this. Ends are universal, so again, there's no wrong way. We're just simply going to apply our tubing. Our patient is likely to need oxygen or may need oxygen and trained through the BiPAP. So we have an oxygen connector, which is the next thing that we apply. And finally, we have our mask. Again, we have small, medium and large. We want the mask to sit comfortably on the bridge of the nose and on the chin. We want to seal either side of the mask and underneath, but we have to have it vented. This is a dedicated or intentional leak. This is where our uh, exhalation port is and where our CO2 is going to escape from our patient. If we need oxygen, we'll have oxygen tubing on the ward, on every ward. This will get attached uh, here to our oxygen uh, connector. And we're simply going to apply this um, to our, um, flow, um, uh, our, our, our flow meter on the wall. And we titrate it up and down according to target saturations. So we are not going to be instructed to give one litre or two litres. We're going to be instructed to target uh, a certain range of saturations and we will move the oxygen accordingly to the patient and the clinical setting. The next thing we're going to need to know is how to put our settings into the machine. So very simply, I'm firstly going to just turn on the machine. And just in terms of basic training, we're only going to focus on the IPAP and EPAP of this machine. So in order to give by a level positive airway pressure, we need two readings, inspiratory positive airway pressure and expiratory positive airway pressure. These are the two readings that will be prescribed and instructed to us by our team. And we just ensure that our uh, mode is in pressure support. The first thing that you're gonna have to do is unlock the machine. I'm just gonna show an icon here where it shows that our machine is locked. So we first of all have to unlock that by pressing minus and plus and those buttons are held down together. We hold them down until the lock opens up. Now that the lock is open, we can access our machine. Let's say for example that our instruction has to start this patient on IPAP of 16 and an EPAP of 6. I am simply going to highlight IPAP. That is alarm, I'll explain that in a minute. We'll go to IPAP and we'll go up with our plus button and it goes up in 0.5 intervals. So we're just going to go up to 16. We're going to highlight EPAP and we've said that we want an EPAP of 6. And again, we're going to press the plus button and we'll go up as far as 6. And now we have our IPAP set at 16, our EPAP set at 6. Our machine is on pressure support. So before we leave this machine, we're going to lock it. We press plus and minus down together. And this is the safe setup of a BiPAP machine. In terms of alarms, your machine will alarm if there is a leak, that will be a high flow alarm. A low flow alarm is a blockage, so any kinking in the tubing. And just there is a battery uh, um, alarm as well. The machine currently here is alarming due to a high flow alarm because of a leak and the fact that I don't have it plugged in at the moment.